One day at work, Smith got a tiny burn on his lip. No one could have predicted that it would develop into cancer and kill him. The question in Smith v. Leach Brain and Company was whether his employer should nonetheless be liable for his death. Smith worked at Leach Brain and Company as a galvanizer, coating metal objects with zinc. He used an overhead crane to dip items into a tank of molten zinc that sat about two feet away from him, separated from him by a firebreak wall. Leach Brain gave him a sheet of corrugated iron that he propped against the wall to provide additional protection from splattering molten zinc. To protect their faces, Smith and the other galvanizers worked with their backs to the tank. Of course, they did occasionally turn around to see what they were doing. One day in 1950, Smith turned to watch a metal item as he lowered it into the tank. A bit of molten zinc splashed onto his lower lip, burning him. His employer treated the burn with picric acid, a commonly used burn treatment. The burn was small and Smith didn't bother to see a doctor. Unfortunately, the wound didn't heal and began to ulcerate. When Smith finally consulted his doctor, he was diagnosed with epithelioma, a type of cancer. From then on, Smith was in and out of hospital. His treatment couldn't stop the spread of the cancer, and Smith died in 1953. Smith's wife sued Leech Brain for negligence. She claimed that the burn caused cancer to develop in tissues that already had a pre-malignant condition, and that consequently Leech Brain's negligence had caused Smith's death. Leech Brain argued that it should be liable only for the foreseeable consequences of its negligence, and Smith's death from cancer was too remote to be foreseeable. 